Hi, um, welcome to my channel. This is Kelly. This is a little bit of a different video. I was asked by one of my subscribers, Linda. Hi, Linda. I promised I would try to do a walkthrough of a Stony Creek magazine. Um, and I did just start getting the subscription, but I had ordered a couple of the magazines out of their um, inventory. And I really like them. They're very good quality. And I just put two of them out here. This is the, this one says it's uh, 25 plus new designs for the new year. And then this one is their annual gift issue for 2017. They're both 2017. This is the winter 2017. And this is the annual gift issue over here. And they, because uh, this is volume 29, number four, and this is volume 29, number one. So it's a quarterly magazine. It's printed in the United States, and these issues are cost it, are marked at $8.49. Um, very good quality. I mean, these are definitely a quality magazine. Um, and I thought I would walk through the, the gift issue. So this is the cover, and it shows the pieces that it has inside. And I really like this Family Friends. Um, I'm going to try to do this without showing things I shouldn't show, so bear with me. I may have to slide a calendar page or something over a chart, so I'm going to try to preview it before I show it. So, of course, inside the cover, they advertise some of the things in their stores, in their shop. And then you have the table of contents, and it's a two-page spread, and again, they show you the, the patterns that are inside the magazine. That welcome is pretty with the pumpkins. Um, and then there's the letter from the editor, and yes, there's their monthly lighthouse. It's a magnet series that they have. Oops. And then, trying not to show chart. Here's some ornaments that are really cute. Very cute. This is going to be difficult. Um, okay. And here are some a couple of towels that you could do on anything. Peace and Noel. And here's a Dear Santa 2017 ornament. You could change the, uh, let me turn that over. You could change the year on. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, Oh, that one's cute. The snowman and the birds. I'm kind of a sucker for birds. I love birds. And there's a cardinal. Cardinals and nuthatches here in this area, they're um, very um, common. And there's some more. There's like mini stocking stop toppers. And then there's charts <laughs> for them. And here you have a Merry Christmas snowman that's been uh, put on top of a box. Looks like a candy box. If the peppermints go inside. That's cute. And the charts are all um, well laid out. They're
Let's see. And then this is a tips and tricks, tips and hints. And then this is the one I pointed out on the cover, the family, friends, the greatest gifts in life. That's really pretty. Okay, let me put this in here. And then there's Welcome to the Nut House. That's kind of cute. My brother would have liked that when we were kids. He used to answer the phone, Hammond's Holy House, God speaking. Yeah, he was kind of a nut. Here's a chart on the other page. And there's the birds. Let's see if I slide this in here. And there's this like bell pool style. With my books and my garden are all I need. It's kind of similar to one that I just finished for my uncle. This is a little bit more of a feminine version of it. <sighs> trying to get to a page that, without chart because I don't want to show the charts. How cute. Baby booties. So here's some little designs you could stitch on baby booties. I'm kind of past the baby booty thing, but train engines and looks like bows or but a butterfly, sailboat, and hearts. Really cute. Oh, my hands don't want to cooperate. I don't know if it's because I'm tired or cold or... <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I like that one. I'll have to show you that. Um, some more ornaments. Little mice. I love little mice. As long as they're not ornaments. Let's see if I can cover that. There's a nutcracker. I've always loved nutcrackers. I don't know why, because they're kind of freaky looking. But that one's cute. Snowflakes and greenery. Oh, that's pretty. It's made into like a pencil container. Hope Faith. Just looking to see if it's got the that was the faith pattern on the other page. The facing page was faith. Okay, and then there's love, hope, and peace. And here's where they're, um, this is the, I think the final, yeah, final. This is the last part of the Halloween afghan that they'd released as a sale. Month, uh, stitch along in their magazine. That's kind of cool. I didn't do this, but. And then it's followed by the charts. And here's one, this is Free the Elves. Free the Elves. And here's those, the towels, a Joy and a Noel, snowman towels. That's the O's, are snowman heads. That's cute. Oh, I love snowmen. And look at that. Let it snow and welcome flakes. These are cute. Bluebirds and cardinals and snowmen. How cute. I like it. I like it a lot. I wish there was more time in a life that we could get it all done. And here's that pretty welcome bell pool. That's really pretty. I may have to make a note of that one to do for next fall. Their charts are very clear. Um, I'll show you quick. <laughs> very clear. Oh, these are cute. Here's some gift tags. Oh, 
That's cute. Gingerbread boy. Very, very cute. We're getting there. Almost through the magazine. Um, well, I'll show you this. Put my paper together here. Here's a piece on earth with a couple of Christmas trees. I hope you're able to see this, okay? Kind of feel like a contortionist trying to make sure I don't display any charts. There are a few other things that I'm not able to show because I can't figure out just moving pages around. So this is pretty. Forever always thankful for you. Forever and always thankful for you. <laughs> and the other one is, um, let me see if I pick it up. Ah. And then there's covered tin here for the love of cross stitch. I like that. I wanted to try to show that to you. That's cute and it has a hummingbird. And that almost looks like a morning glory or a petunia. Very pretty. Okay, we're getting to the back of the magazine now. Just a couple more pages. Okay, so then it's just got the usual, you know, if you've never cross-stitched before, this is what it is. And then a shopping directory and shopping list and more shopping list and order form. And then just some of the things that they sell. Or the stash collector and then that's the back cover and it shows the uh, patterns that they currently have uh, you can like um, this is free for the month of December and then January it will be I think 349 or something like that and then in January this one will be the free pattern and these two have already been previously released they're available to purchase but they're no longer free. I have this one. I don't have this one. I didn't get it. If I decide to do them, I'd go, I would just go back and buy it. So anyway, I hope that gave you an idea about what's in the Stony Creek uh, Cross Stitch Collection magazine. That's the annual gift issue. Here is the winter 2017 issue. I'm not going to flip through this one, but you can see it's about the same. It's just the season changes. Um, more great patterns, though. Let's see if I can get to... I think this is winter-themed because it's the winter magazine. So here are some... Try to get it so you can see it. Here's a, a red sled. Um, skates and skis. Really cute. Um, anyway, it's a good magazine. I, I enjoy it. There's a lot of stuff in it I would like to stitch. Just have to finish some of the stuff I've already got going. So if you have any questions or you want to see something in more detail, let me know and I will be happy to help you. Um, so thank you for watching and have a pleasant day. Take care.